What's going on Gas Gang? Today we're back with a true Clash of the Titans showdown between two highly modified, savage, big power Audi street cars that mean business. Today it's twin turbo R8 versus fully built TTRS and it's going to be nuts. So stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. Guys, if you're not aware by now, I'm pretty sure you all are. I'm giving away my pride and joy. Can't even believe it. One of the UK's craziest street cars. 1,300 brake horsepower on race fuel. 1,100 brake horsepower on pump fuel. Over 100,000 pounds worth of modifications alone to get it to this state. <laughs> This is crazy. In fact, I would even go as far as saying one of the craziest cars to hit a UK raffle so far. And for £2.49, it could be yours. If you're worried about taxing, insuring, keeping and running costs, well, we're doing a £100,000 tax-free cash alternative. Guys, don't miss this one. I even know if there's tickets left, but if there is, check the links below, go over to Level Up Giveaways and grab a ticket. Grab two. Tell your mum, tell your auntie, tell everyone. And guys, you could be driving away with this car very, very soon. Let's get back to the video. So welcome back once again to the OG Battles, where we step up and put our cars to the test. And right now, it's about to be Audi on Audi crime. We've got two all-wheel drive, high-powered street cars, a quarter mile strip and no excuses. Today, it's boosted supercar versus fully built sports car. And it's going to be legendary. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these insane builds perform. Let's get over and meet both cars and their owners. So first up today, welcoming back Jason, aka Fleggy to the battles, driving his insane 1100 brake horsepower V10 twin turbo 5.2 litre Audi R8 V10 Plus built by QST and tuned by SRD. So the R8 is actually still on a stock engine and gearbox, however modifications include a Boost Logic turbo kit with Garrett GTX 35 turbos, a full titanium exhaust system, an uprated low pressure fuel pump and is tuned on a Cyvex ECU by Mike at SRD. The R8 is running a mix of R888R semi-slick street tyres at the rear and Pilot Sport Cup 2s at the front and weighs in at around 1615kg with additional turbo kit, giving them a crazy power to weight ratio of 681 brake horsepower per tonne. The R8's also on TS109 race fuel today and drives all four of its wheels via its 7-speed dual clutch transmission and quattro drivetrain. And he's going to be stepping up against, welcoming Luke to the channel, driving his crazy 1000 brake horsepower, 5 cylinder, 2.5 litre, single turbo Audi TT RS, built and tuned by Storm Developments. Modifications include a fully built and forged engine, a 1200 SD Storm Turbo Kit, 1300 HD clutches, a Wavetrack LSD, a 3.5 inch custom exhaust system with standard back box, water methanol injection and is tuned by Storm on a Cyvex ECU. The TTRS is running on R888R semi slick street tyres all round and is estimated to weigh in at 1380 kg with its stripped interior, giving him a mind blowing power to weight ratio of 724 brake horsepower per tonne. The TTRS is on 99 octane pump fuel today and running map 6 of 8 as unbelievably it's capable of even more power on kill. The TT drives all four of its wheels via its 7 speed dual clutch transmission and Haldex drivetrain. Fleggy, welcome back to the channel, brother. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Today, we've got some serious cars, bro, serious cars. Um, we kind of got a, t well, 
it's, I would like to say it's kind of a smaller version of the R8, <laughs> you know, the baby yep. R8 versus the R8. Um, both running crazy power. You've got a couple of snails in this. In fact, you're running a little bit more power than him, but he's yep. got the weight advantage. Yep. Um, how do you think it's going to go down today? Um, I think it should be, um, I think off the line, I don't think we're going to have it. I think he's going to pull me. He's got much better traction. He's got better tyres um, and he's a bit lighter. Okay. Um, I think on the 50, I think we'll possibly have him at the end. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think we'll just... Uh, but you're I saying it's going to be close by the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no way. Listen, at the end of the day, you know my car, mm -hmm. but that thing is fast. Yeah, they get down. Yeah, they get down. done like a 9.2, I think, quarter mile. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I haven't got near that yet, but oh, I've not wow. driven it with a new power, so... Okay, okay. Know. It's going to be an interesting day yeah. for everyone there. Yep, yep. Well, bro, as always, enjoy the day. Cool. And um, let's race. Cheers, man. Wicked. Luke, welcome to the channel, mate. Thank you, mate. Uh, turned up in one of the UK's, if not the UK's fastest TTRS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely up there. Yeah, definitely yeah, up, there. Definitely up definitely there. Definitely up there. Um, now, for the face of it, for the kind of the untrained eye, they'd think you're at a disadvantage. Obviously, you're racing a twin turbo R8. Uh, but, you know, for people who know, know these go very quickly. Uh, he's a little bit worried. He thinks it's going to be ex very, very close. What's your take on the day? How do you think it's going to go down? Um, it could go either way, really. It's all down to the grip. Um, he's got a couple hundred horsepower more. Um, he's got a better car, but anything can happen. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So would you say drag race, you might get the better of him? Because he feels like if you I might. If I get away, I don't think he'll catch me. Okay. Um, wow. But it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's incredibly hard to say. I yeah. mean, it's going to be close. Yeah. Okay. Close. Well, look, we want a close race. We want a competitive race. Uh, but, you know, we do it for the fun of it. So whoever yeah, wins, you know, good on them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, look, Let's just get into it. Let's race. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> nice one. As usual, we're going to be battling it out for the Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. And first up today, it's the roll races. But before that, let's hear what they sound like. <laughs> Now the roll races work like this. The left car is the pace setting car. The two agree a start speed and the left car sets it. It's then the car on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. <laughs> and after a skewed start, Luke hits that rolling launch, but Jason unbelievably comes from behind and beats the TTRS to the finish by around two cars. That was insane. Let's see if they can neaten up the start a little and go again. TTRS that time manages to hold off the R8 and beats him to the line by around a car and a half. Jason possibly giving that race away by not keeping pace at the start again. Let's line him back up for a decider. Right, well, let's go again.
<laughs> oh, that was awesome. And that time, they hit the start perfectly. And after an unbelievably close race to the finish line, and after a lot of inspection and a back and forth with the finish line marshals, the TTRS just takes the win by about half a bumper. Absolutely insane. So, looking into the roll race data to get a deeper understanding of what happened using a V-Box PBT and the fastest runs achieved, the TTRS proves to be the marginally faster car running 100 to 200 kph in a mind-bending 3.54 seconds. The twin-turbo R8 not far off pace runs a best 100 to 200 kph time of 3.68 seconds. That's data to clear up any confusion. And round one goes to the TTRS. Next up is the drag races, and this is where things get spicy. Who's your money on? up the last gear it just held it um, at eight and a half and after an insane start from the TTRS smoking all four of its tires the twin turbo R8 just manages to run him down before the finish line and beats him to the line by around a car and a half length that was epic let's line them back up and see if anything changes <laughs> In another legendary run down the strip, once again the R8 just manages to beat the TTRS to the finish by around a car and a half length. Madness. So let's take a look at the V-Box data from the runs and the fastest 0 to 60 and quarter mile times achieved by the pair. The TTRS proves the fastest of the two and drops into 12th position on the board, running an insane 0 to 60 time of just 2.53 seconds. The R8 runs a best of 2.80 seconds today, but holds on to 14th position on the board from a previous battle. Then taking a look over at the fastest quarter mile times achieved during the runs, surprisingly, once again, the TTRS comes out on top Top, just running marginally faster than the R8 with a rapid time of 9.79 seconds at a speed of 149 miles per hour and drops into 12th position on the board. The R8 runs an ultra close time of 9.86 seconds but with a higher trap speed of 154 miles per hour and drops in right behind the TTRS in 13th position on the leaderboard. And remember, it's the first across the line, not the fastest time. And round two goes to Jason and the twin turbo R8. So today ends in a draw with both cars taking one round each, showing just how closely matched these two actually turn out to be. That rapid TTRS extremely impressive taking on a twin turbo R8 and more than holding its own. And although it didn't take a clear win today, the data shows it runs faster just having the edge in every test. And that's with half the engine size and half the turbos. These Dazza engines are no joke. On the flip side, the twin turbo R8 shows just how fast it can still run on a stock engine and proves its top end superiority over the TTRS with a power to weight disadvantage, also running impressive times throughout the day. Either way, both cars put on incredible performances and show just what's achievable when these platforms are tuned up correctly. 
As always, let me know in the comments if the races went the way you thought they would today. And of course, given the option, which one of the two you'd want to own and why. And if you like fast cars, remember, there's now only two days to go before the winner is drawn for my insane 1300 brake horsepower Porsche 911 Turbo S, which ran a ludicrously fast time of 9.3 seconds on this very strip at 1200 brake horsepower. Only £2.49 could have it sat on your drive in a few days. Links can be found down below in the description. Do not miss this opportunity. Also, don't forget you can save 20% off the whole Sugar Coat product range using my unique code OG20. Links can also be found down below in the description. Go on, treat your car. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back same time, same place with another crazy OG battle. Peace out.